Do you feel like there's a theme emerging in your work? I mean, all of them have um, queer characters as protagonists and, and queerness sort of central to them. Yeah. The, the four that we've worked on together, so this one very much and the next one, sort of centre the gay male experience. And um, you've described it before as sort of different aspects of the coming of age of a, of a gay man. So we have My Dad's Gap Year, which is sort of like the a yeah. young adult play or like late teenager play, the gap year play, yeah. undetectable early adulthood. And this is sort of very special guest star is sort of about making a family as a, as a gay man and becoming a, a daddy down and play. a dad. Right. So as you write a play, as you'll know, because you also write them, like everything that's going on with you and the world sort of filters through yeah. the, the paper of the, of the play. So it's always amalgamation of all of the issues and conversations that are happening and therefore things that are also happening to me. But that doesn't mean it's literally what, what happened to me. One of the benefits of working with you and, and having a regular collaborator and someone brilliant as you is you really build a trust and a safety. When we read the play, both of us are even, we've what, heard it so many times, we've read it to each other, we've heard other writers, we're still like head in our hands like, oh right, God, why right, are these characters right. doing these things? And of course it's painful to see because you completely understand why they're yeah. doing these things. And, um, and, but it's, yeah, it's sort of nightmarish, but really interesting. So of course, can't wait to see an audience experience that. And every time we get a new person in the room and you're sort of watching their reactions and trying to gauge it. Yeah, I don't feel happy unless the show confronts me in some way. If I don't watch the show and think, oh my God, I, why am I there? Because life challenges us every day. And so I don't want the play to not challenge me because then it's not alive. But I want to be shaken awake. And there's so many things I want to see and I want to feel and I want to experience and I want to be challenged by and confronted by and reassured about and shaken. So a big part of my time is to work with people who are doing exciting stuff that will challenge me in ways that my own work um, does not. I guess if you think about like the unique elements of theatre and the fact we're all together, it's communal, it has to be experienced live. Um, then it's about thinking what 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 is that good for like the the other mediums yeah. which don't have those things so it, it has to be something about togetherness and us seeing those people and those emotions right there so for me that's brilliant at creating empathy mm. so brilliant about us experiencing lives that are nothing like our own mm. therefore being inspired by all the different ways we could live our lives mm. and then to have the main bit is to have that conversation be it just through looks or actual chats in the bar with the other people that experience that too and see a, as a community Community, how that affects you and especially when you look at queer theatre I think the gift of queerness this is something I've learned through all of our work together is when you live really uniqueness in uniquely in your queerness whatever that is sexuality gender kink relationship structures you inspire everyone else to be more themselves what would you like people to think about your work what was the, what's the response you're hoping for I would love people to be entertained and moved and shocked in check, their equal measure. Check, check, <laughs> They will definitely get that, because um, I get that even every time we, we read the script and they, they start acting the scenes out, and I, I get all of that entertainment shock. It's, it's happening. I would love for people to feel like the plays and this play, I guess in particular, like has original things to say, is adding original thoughts to right. what's out there. I hope the community that I, re I hope my plays are for everyone, but of course the queer community are like, it's my community. And that's really who I'm thinking about, including myself and them when I write these plays. So that dedicating myself to writing those stories and uncovering the truths for our community, for us to learn, to grow, to be entertained, um, and then hopefully bring everyone into that conversation. That's my aim. <laughs>